Welcome. In this tutorial, we will review how to manage the full license plate movement policy in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. This feature has been released in application version 10.0.39 and it's enabled by default part of the movement and movement by template menu item configuration. By using this feature, the warehouse workers can move the license plate more quickly in the warehouse by reducing the number of scans needed when using movement or the movement by template flow. As known, while moving ballots by using the movement or the movement by template flows, the warehouse worker has to scan the ballot ID, then the warehouse worker is prompted to scan or specify the ballot quantity. And when it comes to move a mixed license plate, then the warehouse worker has to specify each item inside the ballot. By using the full license plate movement policy, the movement process could be optimized and being more quickly by specifying a policy for the license plate movement as per the business process. The first policy called automatically move full license plate. By using this policy, the system assumes that all the warehouse movements are for entire license plate. Hence, the warehouse worker is never prompted to scan the items. This option works well for the entire ballot movements. The second option called use a specification for single item movement. In this flow, the warehouse worker is prompted to specify all the relevant details, such as the ballot quantity before moving the license plate or the ballot. The third option called automatically move full license plate for a single item license plate. In this flow, if the license plate contains a single item, then the warehouse worker isn't prompted to scan the item details before moving the ballot. But when it comes to a mixed license plate, then the warehouse worker is prompted to scan each item inside the ballot. All right, let's configure the full license plate movement policy. I'll navigate to the mobile device menu items and here in the movement flow we can see the full license plate movement policy options so we have to select one of these options as per the business process the full license plate movement policy is available for the movement flow as well as the movement by template flow in this demo we'll review the automatically move full license plate policy First, let's navigate to the on hand page and here we have mixed license plate, license plate number LPM100 in location B01-001 that contains two items, item A and item B. Then let's move to the warehouse management mobile application. Then I'll move to the movement flow. First, the warehouse worker is prompted to scan the license plate or the location to move the ballot from. I'll scan here the license plate number LPM100. Then, after that, the warehouse worker is prompted to scan the location to move the ballot to. So, the location is B01 002. And here the uh, ballot has been moved to this location. So definitely this is the best option for moving entire license plate. In this demo, we'll review the user specification for single item movement policy. I'll navigate first to the on-hand form. And here we have license plate number LB2001 in location B01-001. And it's a single license plate for item A. Then let's move to the warehouse management mobile application in the movement flow. And here I'll start by uh, specifying the license plate LB2001. Then here... The warehouse worker as uh, normal is prompted to specify the quantity. Here we have 10 pieces in this license plate. So I'm gonna scan, maybe I can uh, say that this is full movement by specifying 10 quantity or it could be also a partial movement. So I'm specifying here the quantity, then okay. 
then here the warehouse worker is prompted to scan the location to move the license plate so i'm gonna say that this is b01-002 then here the license plate will be moved using the same license plate since this is a full uh, license plate movement so this option works well for the partial movement Now let's review the third option, automatically move full license plate for single item license plate. This option works in a way that if the license plate is a single license plate, then the warehouse worker isn't prompted to specify the item details or the quantity. But when it comes to move an item in a mixed license plate, then the warehouse worker is prompted to specify the item details as well as the quantity. So let's move to the warehouse management mobile application and the movement flow. Then let's give it a try first by a single license plate, LP200-01. Then here, since this is a single license plate, so I have to specify directly the location where I'm moving this ballot. So I'm moving this ballot to uh, B01001 and that's it. Now let's give it a try for a mixed license plate like LPM100. Uh, I'm confirming that uh, the this ballot in B01-001. Then since this is a mixed license plate, so I have to specify the item that I'm moving. So the item is 30210. Then the quantity, this could be a partial movement or it could be also a full uh item quantity so i'm gonna say that this is 10. then here i have to specify where i'm moving this item the move to so this would be move to b01-002 then since this is a partial item movement then the system is generating a new license plate i'm confirming the license plate then i'll click okay <laughs> 